Hello everyone and welcome back to another What to Expect. This is Dealies and the game I'm doing today is Zombicide. As you can see on the screen, I just had a win. It's one of the very few times I've actually won in this game. It is a very difficult game, a very um, brutal game, but it is uh, satisfying when you do win. And I was playing, the mode I was playing on then, um, the whole one of the, not really a gimmick, one of the mechanics of this game is that there's a zombie infection or zombie site, uh, but it's like a fantasy world, so you have like elves and all these like other creatures, these fantasy creatures, and they can get the plague, your clan can get the plague, uh, by the way I'll explain, <laughs> I'll explain a bit more before I go too much into that, you are the leader of a clan, and you have like this NPC management, there's other warring well, warring or other clans in the world. The world is procedurally generated. It's uh, the quests come up dynamically. You have you have uh, monsters who have their own kind of clans as well. And you got to you have to take them out and stuff. And it's very uh, to, to put it simply, it's a very complex, involved game. Um, incredibly, it feels like a like incredibly living world. It does not wait for you at all it's just like if you if you mess around if you waste time you'll pay for it like you have to you're constantly making decisions so i need to do this first or i need to do that first what's going to be the consequences if i do if i take out this boss or this um enemy that's doing this uprising and if i leave this other guy uh what's going to happen from that or if i leave this clan and a few of the times i've spent a lot of time trying to gain favor with other clans and basically i left it too long and then they they broke the alliance and they allied with someone else and they destroyed me and it was all over and it's the same as you have to manage your npcs so your npcs can go insane and start killing everyone they can become very unhappy there's they have all these stats that have their personalities they can get um they can be, be friends with certain personalities they can be certain personalities npcs which annoy everyone else and you best you better off just kicking them out of your clan because they will start too much shit you know there's all this stuff it is absolutely um jam-packed uh with with content and uh, mechanics these interwoven mechanics and uh it's it's very very interesting now on the flip side of that i'm going to go over some of the cons well they could be perceived as cons depending on what type of gamer you are this is definitely not a game for everyone uh, because one of the major cons is it is a very stressful game. It never lets you be complacent. Now that can be both a good and a bad thing because once you beat uh, beat a world, uh, so they call like you you load up a, a world and it'll dynamically create it, and you've got to you have certain win conditions. So you might have to ally with everyone. You might have to complete all the quests. There's uh, normally a few ways to win. And once you, uh, you when you beat that area, then you move on to another area. And you can make it uh, more or less difficult. You can change all these parameters. It has a lot of difficulty settings. But basically, it's a very stressful game. And it can be quite unfair sometimes. You can, be, you can generate a new world and you can be at an immediate disadvantage or even an unwinnable situation. So you have to keep that in mind. But... Uh, I, I enjoyed my time with it. I'll go back to it. This is this gameplay is um, a month or so old. I I can remember because I did. I have put about twenty hours into it. I think. But yeah, now I'm just going to go over a bit of the uh, character creation and a few elements of the game, just over some of my old gameplay. So uh, this is your character creation. You can have multiple characters. You choose a class. You know, pretty standard RPG stuff. But you can make hybrid. Uh, classes which have they have two from a, a skill tree from from two of the classes but you only get two if you made a pre-made class you get three skill trees so there's advantages and disadvantages to it you can like mix and match some cool combinations i think i did a sorcerer and a a sorcerer and a uh priest i think so i could use lightning and i could also uh, heal myself as well um, I'm just going around a few of the options here and you can see you can put the difficulty right up and it'll tell you your level and then the level of the world. 
you have lots of other modifiers in there as well. So uh, I'm just in the actual world now. And as you can see, it's kind of uh, put together with in a tile kind of formation. So it's, it is very blocky, but it is uh, randomized and it's, it's, it's fairly different every time. And in this particular playthrough, I'm playing against the, uh, I have the zombies turned on. So there's an actual zombie parasite. You can become a character. You can be, I mean, um, a carrier, sorry. You can be infected. Uh, your NPC clan mates can be infected and they can infect everyone else. Um, you know, there's, um, it adds like a lot of, um, a lot more difficulty to the game if you have it on, but it does make it more interesting. And you can see here, I just got ambushed because I stepped on a trap, I think. And um, I think I die here, yeah. So this probably isn't the best gameplay, but um, you drop a soul stone, which is your XP. So you can go back and pick it up and get your XP back, uh, which is kind of cool. So I'm back at the the uh, clan base here, and you can go look at the notice board, get quests. You can also do that in your relation screen. There's a couple of chests there, which you can stash stuff in. Um, yeah, that's just your map. You can see where the other NPCs are. You can see the entrances and exit to that particular area. So, like, each... The world is kind of divided into areas, and you'll see, like, exits. There'll be certain gates to, like, the next area. There's some... Uh, those two things there were guards for the... For the, uh, the base. And you get, like... Uh, you can pick them up on your travels, or you can send up... Send out an NPC raiding party to find, um, minion guards. Uh, which is kind of cool, and they will protect your base if it's ever raided. Uh, but yeah, like I've got, I've got a few spells here. I've got a um, tornado thing. I think that's part of my the sorcerer class. I think sorcerer is quite is quite powerful. I really like that combination of uh, uh, lightning of the sorcerer and the healer or the priest. So yeah, you can see, you can just get quests from your own relation, the relations screen. If I had found any other clans, they would be here too. It would show the relationship between them, whether you have a non-aggression pact or you're allied or your enemies or you're at war. You can raid, you can raid their clan. Um, they can also raid yours and crush you. This is uh, the NPC screen. So you can see uh, all the different personality types and you can put them out on expeditions and stuff. It's, uh, again, I said it's a really, I've played it a bit and I feel like, again, I've only scratched the surface. So I'm definitely going to go back to it. I'm going to try and do a more difficult playthrough, turn everything on and maybe even do a let's play. Although it's very hard to talk when you're playing this game because it's so stressful and you're constantly uh, just trying to beat the clock. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great game and I'll definitely recommend it. I will see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.